Hello, this is Bea. Today I want to talk to you about one of Stratus's tools, the Advanced Login Panel. Before I show you how it works, let me give you a quick overview. The Advanced Logger allows me to log video clips while I'm recording, or even, of course, after they have completed recording. It allows me to create custom login templates, and here you can see a perfect example of that, where we've got a red team, a blue team, a number of items that I may want to log whilst the game is happening and it allows me to add multiple keywords on a single marking point. So at a specific point in the video I may want to decide that a red player has performed a catch and it's been on the sixth inning. All of that associated with the same single time code. So let me show you how it works over here. I've got my GV Stratus workstation open and I have a viewer where I can actually see either low resolution or high resolution that depends on my workstation. I have a couple of button panels over there that I have created myself, one of them with player names, the other one with different type of events that may happen throughout the game. Down here I have my login panel so far, this is everything I have been logging, these are the different time codes where it happens, and as you can see, for every point in the time code, I may want to log in more than one type of event. So while I'm playing live, off it goes, I can see the players are working, so they, they're playing away, and this is Lakey, and he's part of the Blues, and as you can see, so far I've, I've logged Lakey and Blues, and my description field has highlighted in case that I want to add Lakey plays well in case that I want to add a description over there. So the video keeps playing, now we have um, this, we're still in the first half and at this case maybe there's a fault and let me just pause that. Now if I want to go back to any of those pre-locked points all I have to do is click on it and it will show me in black those uh, metadata keywords that I have so far logged against that point. And if I wanted for any reason to change that information, all I have to do is press that button now that player Jones has gone away from that metadata point. Another interesting thing I can do is I can pin buttons. So while I'm playing away, let's say this is of course the first half, so I want to make sure every metadata point I log also includes first half by default. So I just pin the first half, I keep playing, and now this is Eric, and this is Fault, and Triple. As you can see, let me pause that again, uh, first half has been selected by default. I can also add other types of metadata such as tags or a rating, and of course associate different workflow rules according to those metadata fields. Let's say every time you mark a triple, you want to make it a three star, type of clip and that will then kick off um, creating a sub clip and sending it to the web. Now other things that you can do of course is add more buttons so let's say I want to add an extra button over here and in this case we're gonna have a very special guest coming to watch the game and we're gonna just uh, name that as the name of our guest so let's say Lady Gaga is coming over I can change the color can make that a nice pink and if I want to have a default description with every time I push that button Lady Gaga came to see the game that will uh, be entered by default so I'm gonna add that button here it is and you can see that we can select a small icon that goes with the button to identify it even better and whilst we get ourselves to the point where the Lady Gaga arrives to the game I can of course log that against that particular point and you can see how now the description by default says that Lady Gaga came to the game it's in the first half and let's say retrospectively I want to go and say that Andre and Hanley were actually playing at that particular point so there you have it, it's a quick summary of how the advanced login panel works, allows me to add keywords, multiple keywords to one single time code point, all of those keywords are of course searchable, and that's a very quick summary of how the advanced login panel works within GV Stratus.